I've always drawn since I was little. I'm working on this motorcycle tank for, I believe, a 2015 Indian Scout for the dealer here in Oklahoma City. And they came and asked me to, to paint a, an Indian motif on the side of the tank. But instead of the traditional emblem like what they would have, they wanted something that was a little more detailed. So that's what I'm doing. I started airbrushing when I was pretty young. I would say 13 or 14. A family friend by the name of Bob Burns was a sign painter and pinstriper in the town I grew up in. And he told me about the whole movement of custom culture, custom painting type of movement. And he was more on the pinstriping side of things. Um, it got me kind of interested because I like cars. Um, so I went back and got an airbrush and started playing around with it and figured out how to use it. It's a tool. It's kind of like driving a car. And you pick up an airbrush, there's so many other elements that come into airbrushing. It's like flying an airplane. You learn a tool and after a while you realize where the glitches and little things happen so you know when to, when to stop. Because if I kept going, it could have potentially caused a mistake on here. And so all those things combined make it kind of difficult and I could draw so much better with a, with a pencil than I could with an airbrush. So it took a while to get my ability to airbrush up to the level I could, I could draw um, with a pencil, um, which is why I hated it to begin with. I want to see how well I can do, but I kind of gauge where I'm at based on the level I see other artists in my same industry at. And um, that really, it really drives me um, to, to try to just do better. I've had the opportunity to go a lot of places to paint stuff and I have work all over the country. Every once in a while, one of those things that I, I can be out of state driving on the road and it's one of my paint jobs, you know? I'm like, wow, that's cool, look at that. You know, I painted that 10 years ago and there it goes by. It's this internal thing that pushes me to, to do this. I kind of get into a zone when I, when I draw or when I paint. And you just get lost. You sit down, start drawing, painting, whatever. And you're, you're so into it and so enjoying it that um, you forget about everything else. My mind is off somewhere else thinking about something completely different and that's the zone and that is where your best work comes from. It's a 1955 Chrysler Windsor Deluxe with a DeSoto front grill. We had to do a little modification to get the grill in. The flame job is probably arguably the oldest graphic job you know around. Um, you got scallops and flames. So we kind of harken back to that long lick style from, you know, the 50s and, and 60s, I guess. Then I have, I have a little unique flame style. So um, I put a little shoulder on my flame licks and um, it sets my flames apart from everybody else's and um, people recognize it, which is, which is really cool. Yeah, it's, it's a cool car. It's a nice ride. Oklahoma is where I got my professional start and at least started a, a great body of work here. And so um, I am very fortunate to have a, a following here and people that like my work and respect my work and, and know my work and seek it out. Mm -hmm.